Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to Orlight. So, uh, I guess we've got armor, we've got a sword. What next? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Mining is boring. Mining is really boring. Let's go exploring. I know exactly, uh, I don't even, I do not know where my uh, home base is going to be, but, 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 I want, I want fancier things than what I've got. And my potatoes are going to take forever to, to cook. I was going to say cook. Now my potatoes are going to take forever to grow. So you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just go on a burning rampage. See if I can find me a dungeon. I meant to find one previous episode, but it wasn't quite there yet. Now, now that this barbarian is looking nice and, uh, punchy. Nice and, uh, I don't know. I guess not, well, I mean, he's got his, he's got his sword, but, uh, more so that he won't just immediately die on me. Might, might not be a bad idea to... Come say hi to these guys. Let's eat some potatoes while we stab skeletons. I cannot wait until I can actually get some uh, proper skills here. Because I think it will kind of freshen up combat a little bit. On one hand, I'm a little bit grumpy that the combat is so freaking, you know, just click, 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 click. On the other hand, that's that's effectively how Diablo worked it, so who am I to complain, right? Right. So, let's see. I mean, we've got potatoes. Might as well just gather what potatoes I have. I should probably also figure out if a, if bows are any good. Let's just throw this one on and see if see if it works. Oh boy. Oh, scratch that business. Maybe once it's like more powerful, if I or if I can like hot swap between the two. But no way, no how, not right now. Okay, looks like this is. I mean, it's not a necessarily a dead end, but it's kind of meaningless. We're looking for fancy resources. I'm currently not finding any. Let's just keep wandering around. Also, spoke with Birdcatcher. Looks like he might be picking this game up too, so we might actually be able to collude and have a party game time. Oh, is this the old man's house? Sorta. Of. What's with the cellar door thing? You can't even go down there. Okay, does not look like we've got uh, chests in there, so there's no reason for looting it. I do hope that they actually add cool, cool like trinkets and random stuff that you can find. You know, kind of give you a good reason for wanting to murder all these things. Because currently, skeletons and bats and stuff... Well, I mean, bats give you meat, but, like... Skeletons, for example, don't give you jack all, so it's just like... Well... I could potentially just kite past these guys forever. If I really wanted to. Okay. So let's see. I actually noticed a couple of things. First and foremost, they've actually patched this game. Looks like they're pretty dedicated to patching this game quick. Uh, getting rid of a lot of the, like, major complaints. So first and foremost, looks like they've patched it, so by pressing escape, you'd no longer get kicked out of the game. Here, let's press escape a bunch of times. See, it didn't get kicked out of the game. I'm actually really stoked about that because I kept making that mistake over and over and over again. They must have seen my review or something. Uh, uh, you know what, maybe not. I would not be uh, surprised if a lot of other people didn't complain about it too. Okay, let's just pile on a bunch more baked potatoes. This, this game follows the Skyrim effect, except for instead of just you know, healing from eating them. You just get, uh, less hunger. Less hungry. Less hunger. Less hunger. Okay. And I'm gonna keep grabbing potatoes, because I believe each one of these patches is five potatoes. And that means... I can, I can just, you know, take take out some mushrooms and then we can... Mine, ah, uh, let's see, is this, that's a lot of gold. I'm gonna hold off on it. I'll come back for mining later. I'll have the mini-map. Might actually do it off camera. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Better run around? Sort of. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the uh, super shortcut the other way around. I actually don't know if this is any faster, but mining is so slow. Plus we need some wood anyway. Freaking mushrooms. I don't even know. I've actually been looking at uh, some of the artwork they've been putting out for like later stuff in the game. Like, uh, this isn't even the right direction, is it? Uh, freaking fine, let's just mine our way through here incredibly slowly. Okay, we're through and immediately being chased by bats. Okay, I was like, yeah, let's just do a dump, jump cut. No reason to watch me just sit here digging forever. Oh, shoot. I wi wildly misjudged where where the passable terrain was. I actually really wish on the minimap that uh, impassable terrain was like slightly shaded in or like head hatching or something like that. That would be awesome. I think I would actually really appreciate that. Uh, but that's currently not in the game, as is music, but then again, I don't know when music is going to be added. No, make no promises on that one. 
Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I was, I was looking at the artist's various, like, sketches and stuff like that for, like, later features. I'm actually pretty stoked about them. They look, they look pretty neat. Then again, uh, for the most part, it seems like they're kind of focused on getting, like, bare bones performance in. Which I guess makes the most amount of sense. If, uh, disappointing for people like me that are just like, more content, more things to do, more things to see. More skeletons to hit. Oh, I might as well pick up the stone, even though I have yet to actually see if there's a reason to do so. Ooh, whoa, okay, look at all this iron, holy crap, that is probably like an entire upgrade to my, my breastplate at the very least. Whew, wow, that's massive. Okay, well, that was, how much iron was that? 80, oh, wow, that, that really was. Uh, full upgrade. Alright, I'm just gonna grab this as we go by. I generally am gonna try and avoid farming on camera at this point, unless I'm doing co-op stuff, at which point, like, who cares, commentary is gonna be more important than gameplay, but, for now, eh, let's just, uh, let's just grab the iron. I wanna, I wanna be able to, like, run around in crazy armor looking like a crazy man, doing crazy things. That's, uh, that's some amount of gold, that's some amount of coal. Uh, but I need, what, 40 more iron? Eh, that's not actually too bad. I wanna find a dungeon, though. They're like all over the Jesus Christ, is that That's a lot of iron. I'll, I'll see if I can get around to it or something. Mining montage is left and right, actually after a certain point. I might just jump cut it. I might have already jump cut it. I don't even know. It just <laughs> Okay. So let's see. Where and what and who and how. I don't even know. I'm, I'm looking for resources. There's no indication of, like, dungeons and stuff like that. Honestly, it, it is kind of hard getting into, like, a super early access game. Like, uh, Vigante and stuff was at least fairly, like, complete. No, no, that's just a house. And we can get around a different way without having to dig through the walls. If I could, like, dig through the walls fast or put, like, charges, sure. But no, there are no bombs. And currently, there's not even a pickaxe in the game. It's just like, well, you just absorb the wall. With your... Crazy... Freaking Viking gut, apparently. I don't necessarily know if these characters are Vikings, but I like to pretend that they are, just because it makes me feel better about things. Now, I am curious what would happen if I fell into one of those pits, but I don't think I don't think I would appreciate having to run back. Crap, how do I oh okay. Can I do this? I oh yeah, we can just dig through this. And then we don't have to worry about it. Okay, that's easy enough. This is like, how do we even, how do, how are we even getting around here? Oh, shoot. Looks like we're finding friends. And this is a dead end. Good. Exactly what I wanted. Looks like I'm actually going to have to start digging through things to get where I want to. It's not a high priority for me, but it looks like I have to. Because, yeah, that whole iron vein over there is not convenient to get to. Ah. Okay, fun fact, you cannot walk into spike traps. They're purely for aesthetic reasons and no no other reason okay let's let's just head over here i really want to find a dungeon let me fight something let me let me go find somebody to hit i'm ready i'm willing i am a viking i do viking things and you do not want me to do viking things today huh where are we even going how do we even get down to where we want to go Unfortunately, this mini-map is convenient to say the least. Uh, inconvenient to say the least. It's like, oh, yep, you want to go kind of vaguely this direction. Oh, this is not nearly as convenient as it looked like it would be. Well, that that's annoying. So let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I can, I can keep going around. Or I could just kill myself. Eh, I'd probably lose a couple of items, though. I really don't want to do that. Like, Terraria, you know, killing yourself, eh, it's easy, you get back to base. This game is like, yeah, yeah, you get back to base, you also lose, like, four things. It's, ah. Especially when I'm carrying around, like, 80. It, it might be, like, grab, grab, where, like, proportionally, the more stuff... Oh, shoot, I'm starving. Potato! Uh, might be, like, grab, where the, the more stuff you have, the more you lose, kind of on a proportional basis. That makes sense, too. Then again, I've never really enjoyed games where it's like, it's not permadeath, but you still drop all of your stuff. Uh, RuneScape. God, I hated that in RuneScape. I kind of understood why it was a thing, but it was always super annoying. It's like, well, I just died. There goes all my stuff. Yeah, oh, man. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Especially because you had to do graveyard runs, more or less. Oh, more iron. 
More iron, and a cracked voice, apparently. Okay, here's the question. This guy has extra armor. Does that make him any tougher than these guys? Doesn't look like it, but then again, I'm hitting these two simultaneously. So their, their entire concept of, like, hit points, or I, I guess the amount of hit points that they have is kind of obfuscated by that. I don't even know. Okay, well, let's just keep a digging. Keep a digging forever. I might have found one. Okay. Uh, uh, yep, this this looks like a dungeon. Oh, yeah, that looks like a dungeon. How do we get into this one? Wait. What? Have I already been? I've already been close to this. Hang How did I miss it? Yeah, whatever. Let's just dig straight through. No, no reason why we have to use the front door, right? Because as far as I can tell, everything is destructible in this game. Quote-unquote destructible. That'd actually be... Yeah, oh, man. Up, oh, bib, bib. I'd actually love that if it just used the basic combat system for mining stuff so you could just like mash clicks and stuff. I am taking hits. There's a lot of there's a lot of archers here. This is not something I generally appreciate. No, oh, let's stay away from you. Cause you are the man that hurts a lot, probably. I'm not sure, you also have a lot of health. Okay, we've taken him out. Oh, who's that in the background? That looks like a freaking headsman. And he shoots Oh, is he he's a wizard. He's a skeleton mage, okay. It's a wizard hat he's got on. Okay, so keep my distance. Murder. Fast as possible. Okay. So far, so good. And he's got a tell for what he's about to cast. Perfect. Okay. Don't know if he counted as the boss monster or not. This might not even be a dungeon. This might be just kind of like a strongholdy type thing. That said, eh, it's better than what we've been doing. Let's see if I actually can get some treasure in here. Is that a... Uh, that, that looks like a... Uh, that's a box. Damn it. Oh, fa uh, ha, ha. Oh, goy. We do not want to get stuck in a corner. I'm glad I've got armor in. I'm glad I've got I've got a weapon. Jeez. That's a lot of wizards. Okay, so clearly <laughs> clearly I just want to get out here. I don't actually know if these guys keep respawning, like if I have to clear them in a specific uh like specifically quickly. I hope not. So that'd be kind of unfortunate. Okay, let's see. How much health do you have left? It does look like they're running away. So after a certain point, they do lose interest in you. Okay, that's probably for the best. Now let's go back to just general murder of everything. Here's the question. How many more of these guys are there going to be? A lot, to say the least. Why are the skeletal mages tougher than the skeletal archers? Like, the, the captain is definitely the toughest. I guess these guys are supposed to be, like, mini-boss level. Holy cr- wait. That's not just a skeleton mage. That's like a champion skeleton mage. Okay, who are you? Skeletal frost mage. Oh, maybe maybe he has the uh, frost stone that we're looking for. I'd love a frost sword. I love an anything sword, really. Okay. Let's just keep going out of the way. You know what would help this game? Dodge rolls. Dodge rolls would be great. I feel like I'm playing RuneScape or something right now. Is just hit, sit there hitting them. I guess in RuneScape you never really dodged. You just kept smacking things back and forth and just shoved food in your face whenever you were feeling a little bit, a uh, little bit anemic. Okay, that's gotta be it. No, really, wow. Still a lot of dudes in here. Hopefully, no more skeletal frost mages. Not like they're particularly threatening. They were just very tough, comparatively. Right, there's a one, there's a two, let's take out the archers. Or rather take out the small things fast and then go for the slough. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's, there's a lot of dudes in here. Okay, well, unfortunately there's no, no friendly fire in this game. Friendly fire would probably make this just so much faster. But then again, when it comes to multiplayer, that would probably also result in like me dying or bird dying or whomever. Oh, stay away from you, take out the bats. Oh, crap. That's a that's a frost mage. We just got smacked around by a frost mage. Okay. This is what the deuce was uh why are there what was that? There's like bone remains up top. That's not confusing in the slightest. So let's start shoving some food straight into our face. Go back to hitting bats. Well, we're going to have plenty of meat by the time we're done with this. Oh, shit! That's a stone golem. This really is a dungeon. How much health do you have? I should probably actually go for the regular skeletal mage here. At least the stone golem is slow as shit. Okay. 
Are you the boss? You look like the boss. You have a fair amount of health, but I'm chipping it away fairly quick. I'm trying to distance him a little bit so I can go back to hitting these mages. Taking the regular skeletal mage seems like a pretty good idea. Hi. I am kind of impressed, though, at just how little damage I do. I could technically start trying to cheese this, seeing as there's... There really needs to be an experience system in this game. But, you know what? Maybe that golem actually gives us something good. I hope so. I got him on the ropes. The answer is, as far as I can tell, he dropped a grand total of nothing. Especially nothing useful for anybody. Okay, well that sucked. Oh, I need to get some loot from that. Well, let's go back to eating potatoes for a second. Look at how, just how many potatoes I'm sitting on. Okay. Oh, there's the main guy out. There's no alternate attack. Oh, looks like we've just got a regular skeleton archer. And a regular... Nope, is that... That's... that's a, Okay. That's a skeleton frost mage. Shit. Don't get stuck in that. How many of these guys are there? Maybe... Maybe the frost stone's a rare drop from one of these guys. That would make sense. Alright. Let's just ignore them for the time being. We've got... We've got bats. Oh, yeah. But it's probably a little bit easier that I just kind of ignore the base enemies and just kite them around. It's not like I'm taking too much damage anyway. Is this a chest? No, that's not a chest. Okay. Pretty close, though. Skeletal Frost Mage, but this is absolutely a chest over here. What? Can I? Can I not? Can I not? Oh, what if I have to? What, what if I have to clear everything before? Ah, what if I have to clear everything before we're done? Okay, well this is just a regular skeletal mage instead of a skeletal frost mage. There we go. Okay, that hurts a little bit. Am I even hitting him? I think I'm just whiffing it. Okay. Crap. Okay. Well, let's just get stuck in a corner with this guy. I guess I could just stand next to him and beat him to death. Oh, shit. Is he healing? I have no idea. He doesn't do too much damage, though. Especially by himself. So, let's just try killing everything. Maybe then I'll be able to open up that chest. I'm just gonna take the damage because I'm not terribly, terribly injured. I'm just terribly slow. Okay. Can I open this up yet? The answer is still no. There's got to be a switch or a plate or something. It might be that thing in the corner. There might still be all of these guys left alive. I feel like we've taken out most of the major enemies, though. We've got, like, skeletons. Glad I have, you know, better than just the regular sword in this game. Oh, those are skeleton captains. Damn it. Oh, that's another stone golem. Okay, well, hopefully the entire dungeon doesn't respawn while I'm in here. I don't think this game is that dickish, but it could be. And I don't 100% trust it. At least we don't have any more frost mages to deal with. Potato, and I do have steak if I need it. Even though that is proving to be much harder to replace. Okay, so we've got another skeleton mage and golem in the way. This is absurd. There need to be less enemies in this thing. I can definitely see why having a second part party member would be great, because just just golems, skeletons, skeleton archers, skeleton mages. I think that's just a regular one. I can't really tell. I'm just gonna just gonna go circles around them, hit smacking as many things as possible. It's better than dodging in and out fighting the one specific enemy. I'd rather spread the love, seeing as I'm not taking any of the damage myself. Ah, okay. I spoke too soon, was not paying attention, got smacked around by the skeleton mage. Okay, stone golem's looking pretty worse for the wear. Okay, skeleton down, stone golem up. Stone golem up. And he's... I outrange him. So there we go. Okay. How long is this dungeon? It's surprisingly long. Really hope they don't respawn, but they probably do. Oh, let's clear out this direction next. How many of these guys are there? Infinite numbers. I would love I would love a special ability at some point. Probably make this entire process just so much faster. See, those are just a bunch of dead bats, and that's my that's my little floater thing. 
I'm gonna have to go back and check to see if that is a chest. Maybe I can pick it up. Maybe I, I can absorb it. I just have no idea if it has contents or not. Because I'm wagering that this is the only place that we could possibly get... Uh... What was that? Was that a... Did I just get a... I, I'm getting iron plates from these guys. Oh... Oh, that makes... That's... That's... That's useful. It's gonna solve our iron problem really fast. What is this thing? So I got it, whatever the heck it is. It is... A bone chest, but I can't open it up? What's this? Bone standing torch. So I can't, like, bust it open or anything? Okay, so we just have a chest that I can't do anything with. Confusing. I guess if they don't have any contents in them, why would they? I can see, I can see why, they, why am I not attacking anymore? I, I can see why they would kind of nix uh, bo bone chests from the, like, make, it, make them unopenable. Because if you can't get anything th from them, what's the point? I'm really curious where I can get my hands on the, uh, on the ice stone and the fire stone and stuff. Because I would actually really like to upgrade my gear. Because I do piddly damage and it's kind of annoying. Okay, so we've got another skeleton mage, just a skeleton mage. Okay, this looks easy enough. Alternatively not. Oh, we've made a horrible decision here. There is a lot more in this than I thought there was going to be. There, jeez. Okay, okay. Oh god, oh god, why? I've made dumb things to happen here. I think that's the boss. Fuck <laughs> me. Okay, well, if we can take out the bats, then we can kind of bottleneck them pretty hard. Let's just remember our the proper way through this area, which I believe is up here. Nope, it's not. Okay, well, let's keep our potato count high. We're going to have plenty of steaks by the time we're... Ow. By the time we're done with this. This is absurd. That guy is just riding on wings of magic or something. Okay. Those arrows have a much larger hitbox than I give them credit for. Okay, let's keep running. It does not look like anybody's respawning, so so far so good, except for the fact that I'm almost dead. Okay, I healed just a little bit in here. I'm trying I'm trying to single out some of the skeleton archers so we have less to worry about. It's not working as well as I'd like it to. There's there's enough of them that it's like it's like trying to sidestep. Uh, oh, well that's useful. Thank you, glitches. You saved my life. Okay, so I've got lots of stakes. We've got a golem there. That's not handy. Kind of look up bone chests here. Oh, that's the skeleton frost mage. That's the skeleton mage. I do not have the health for getting smacked around by these guys. Let's just lure them back out. I have no idea what happened to the... Oh, good lord. Okay. Somebody remind me why why such nightmares exist. Ow. Those arrows really need a much smaller hitbox than that. It's not even hitting me. It just kind of hits my general vicinity. And it's like, you got, you got smacked, son. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 stuck in the ice, stuck in the ice, stuck in the ice, I'm dead. <sighs> that could have gone better. Holy crap, I'm far away, too. At least we know where it is, but... Suffice to say, from my first dungeon experience, that was stressful and bad. At least I got to keep most of my stuff. Let's put the bone chest down. Let's see if it does any good. Probably not. Yeah, I still can't interact with it. Frustrating. Okay, well, at the very least, we did get a fair amount of spoils of war. So, let's uh, let's make as many iron plates as we can, and then see what kind of gear we can get from this. We might actually be able to get... I need more coal. 
I can make a lot. How much do I need? 98 coal. Eh, good enough. But at the very least, I'm going to be able to upgrade my helmet. I'm going to be able to upgrade my armor. So I guess we've got that going for us. Unfortunately, damage is the thing that we need. And I do not foresee myself getting that anytime soon. Well, let's just click away until we're not on it anymore. Okay, there we go. And a bunch of iron plates. Perfect. Just made it. Okay, so there's there's no... There's no... I don't have any ice stones. I haven't picked any up. So I can't make any sword upgrades in the meantime. Okay, fine. That's not what I need, though. Well, it is what I need. But let's take off our armor. Let's take off our helmet. And let's consider. Can I not? Wait, have you... What? Iron plates and iron helm. Oh, I need I need the anvil, of course. I knew I was missing some something along the way here. So I could actually almost make a centurion helm, but I'd rather be consistent with this. And what do I look like? Oh man, I look uh, I look like a frog knight. Hey, I've got uh, Sven's armor on. I just need a better helmet. Cool. Okay, so I actually just need a little bit more iron, and then we're good to go for the centurion helm. What do we need for the centurion armor? Cloth. I don't have any of that yet. I do have a bookcase. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, though. Well, either way, this has been weirdly successful in some ways. I just really hope I can get one of those swords. Come on, Sven. you got to pay out with one of those. Can't hit Sven. Damn it. All right. Well, either way. Also got a lot of food. That's good. I'm probably going to need to refresh my potato stock here. So I will actually see you guys on the next episode of Orlight. We will go hit up that dungeon again, but I think I'm going to look up to see where I can get uh, sword upgrades and stuff like that. Might also be co-op. Don't know when that's happening. Terraria might be kind of in the way. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Orlight. And as always, thanks for watching.